Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for Big Spring State Park. The journey to Big Spring. It's a big deal. And here's how it all went down. That's what I had to go through to get to here. You'll, I think you'll enjoy this story. Let's get to it. We are on a road trip. And I'm currently set up at Lake Mineral Wells State Park. One of my favorite, one of my top five Texas state parks. So from here, tomorrow, we're headed to uh, San Angelo State Park. Yappy's got business in San Angelo. So we got, uh, we got off to a little bit of late start today, a little after 12 o'clock. We'd hope to be going earlier than that. But considering we're going to be on the road for four weeks, uh, we needed to make sure we had everything with us. A couple videos back uh, where I was getting ready for this trip and I did the oil change, I had talked about the leveling gear, the landing, the, the leveling jacks. The driver's side was drifting down and I went in here, I was all proud of myself, thought I'd become an expert. I went in here and I, I tightened up on the valve and that problem went away. And then the next day I realized that the passenger side was going down. So I went in and I tightened that one. There's, by the way, there's four valves, so there's four of those things to tighten. And, and it didn't do any good. It just kept going down. But it was a slow drift. About six hours, about six inches. Twelve hours, six inches. Uh, yesterday I noticed that it was moving a little quicker. And today, once we got on the road, I found that it was moving much quicker and going much farther. Uh, and we... I kept hearing the alarm as we were driving through Dallas traffic, through through DFW traffic. I had to cross all of the Metroplex. And that jack kept drifting down. Pulled over on the shoulder of the road, put a strap around it. I was, I was really concerned that strap was gonna pop. Uh, we weren't too far from here, so we just we just drove slow. And by the time we got here, that jack was, even though it kept going back up, it kept going down. And it was only about that far off the ground. So I talked to Lippert and I said, well, yeah. Anyway, we will not be using a leveling system on this trip. I have turned that jack sideways. So if ever, if you have, if you have a leveling system on your motor home, and one of your jacks is not behaving itself, make sure you carry some, a three quarter inch wrench with you so you can take the bolts out and rotate it 90 degrees. That way, no matter how far it goes out, it doesn't drag the ground. So we'll leave that power down. Uh, probably gonna end up having to replace the valves. Good morning. Good morning from Lake Mineral Well State Park. What a beautiful place to wake up. I sat down here in a in my lawn chair. Put my chair right there yesterday evening for about two hours and just enjoyed the view. Probably not gonna have a, a view like this the rest of the trip. So this morning, she's got a meeting and then we'll get on the road and we're gonna drive probably RV time will be about four hours. We're headed to San Angelo, Texas. I like this site a lot. You'll enjoy it too. 
San Angelo State Park. We're here. We had to stop at HEB in San Angelo, buy some groceries. Let's talk about site number one. One. It is a 30, it is a, site number one is a pull through site. As you can see, asphalt pad, it's, it's 50 and 30 water and a mesquite tree. <laughs> well, no, we have two mesquite trees. We have a concrete picnic table with a metal roof. We have a charcoal grill, a steak cooker, and a place to burn a campfire. And it looks like we don't have a burn ban. I'm not sure. I gotta get some clarity clarification on that because this dry the lake here is at i think she said two percent but you can see we only had to put up a little bit there on the front to get us level this way side to side it's pretty well spot on perfect we've got three bars verizon 4g and of course we've got a clear view of the northern sky we are in west by god texas our visit to san angelo state park coming to a close i have a whole new perspective on san angelo state park it's it's not as it you know it's sad that the lake is not here but this is still a really great texas state park we are headed to, where are we headed to? Where are we going? We're going to Big Spring State Park. Man, I've had to jump through some hoops to get to Big Spring State Park. Mostly because there's no campsite there. <laughs> and it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, West Texas. And if you live in Big Spring, I don't mean any offense. There's just, it's a long way to anything and there's no campsite so i can't use it as a waypoint stop i can only use it as a potty stop for the dogs which it will be tomorrow so we'll i'll finally get to explore big spring state park and we're going to do an insta 360 video so that you can see the whole thing and you won't have to figure out how to get to big spring state park it's a challenge to get there well, at least it has been for me because it's just kind of yeah exactly so we'll see you tomorrow morning when we arrive at big spring state park we've made it to big spring state park we're not in the parking lot yet we're we're at the scenic overlook and man look at that view She was a little nervous when we got in here because she didn't understand that it's a one-way road that loops around the top of this big hill or whatever you call it. She was ha having a bit of a moment. But we're going to eat some breakfast and then continue on around this loop and park the RV and then I'll deploy probably the valkyrie and we'll we'll go see the big spring state park stuff so we've we've made it completely to the top <laughs> and we we've had lots of discussions about taking the rv places it's not intended to go <laughs> all the way up at the top you have picnic tables and barbecue cookers there is a burn ban in effect here though so we won't be cooking any burgers today all right so let me deploy a wheeled vehicle and we'll go see some big spring state park stuff 
So this is a CCC, Texas State Park, Civilian Conservation Corps. Uh, and they talk about this, this placard talks about the construction by the CCC. I don't know, if you, if you want to have a big gathering out here, you're, you're not going to be sleeping on site. Pavilion available by rental only. There's definitely a good breeze. Kids will enjoy it. Look at all the playground stuff. Even got some of those swings. Man, you can go real high and have a great view. And just look at that view. And I, I know the, the GoPro does not do it justice. All right. Oh, and they have vault toilets up here on top of this hill. So let's go see some more stuff. So people have been coming up here for a long time. And then the new deal comes along. 250 young men lived and worked here while uh, recovering from the Great Depression. Lots of people have made their impressions. You know, and, and some of them just use spray paint. Spray paint graffiti. What a commending view. All right. So we're going we're going to do a scooter run, a, a bike run. Scooter wouldn't climb this hill, so we're going to use the Valkyrie. So there'll be a GoPro video and an Insta 360. And that is the wrong way. And for this run, we're going to we're going to abide by the directional rule. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a swing. Game time. We're gonna go as high as we can. I gotta drive. We gotta go to New Mexico. As much fun as much fun as that is, we got places to go and things to see. So the, the park headquarters is actually a CCC construction. I think it's fascinating that they have a, a stove on the back side there, a, a place to cook. I bet that used to be like a group meeting hall or something. Anyway, just thought that was interesting. Someone spent a lot of time. Was. We are at the end of our... The Journey to Big Spring video. Man, and it was a bit of a journey to get here. I'm glad we made it though. I've never seen this before. But now I know that I can see it again. So that, that's that's 20. So if you need a play, you need a break when you're driving 20, it's not too far. And now you know you can bring a decent sized RV up here. Just got to be aware that, you know, if there's a bunch of us, it's going to be kind of crowded. But we're done. Hey, if you found some value, some enter entertainment, if you got something out of this video, please click on that thumbs up. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, man, 
thank you. I wouldn't be here otherwise. I sure appreciate that. You guys are awesome. And for my patrons, I am so grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?